kind of I'm losing you, a uh, holistic health practitioner and a traditional Chinese medicine practitioner. In this video, I am going to talk about what's uh, the real cause of uh, frequent UTIs and how to fix it quickly. Have you ever wondered why menopause and uh, or postmenopause women are getting more frequent UTIs than young women? When people talk about the UTIs, in most cases, they are referring to a bladder infection. The urinary tract is comprised of bladder kidney and uh, tubes connecting them that produce urine and carry it out of the metabolism system. Urine is a byproduct of metabolism. It contains waste that need, needs to be removed. Just because the urinary tract has to perform the job to remove the urine, it does not mean it has to be contaminated by the germs contained in the urine. In contrast, the urinary tract must be free from those bad bacteria to do the job properly. When contaminated by the bacteria, the urinary tract suffers from infections. The medical term for such a condition is called urinary tract infection or UTI. Among all organs that comprise the urinary tract, the bladder is the most commonly infected by bacteria. Bladder infection is not uncommon and not serious when treated properly right away. But if it, it is poorly treated, the infection can spread to other organs, for example, the kidneys, and cause serious health issues. The human metabolism system has developed a natural mechanism to defend against UTIs. We call this mechanism urination. As the urine flows from the kidneys through ureters to the bladder, bacteria are flushed out when you urinate. This system is effective to prevent bacteria from settling down and inhibiting the urinary tract. Unfortunately, this defense mechanism does not always work as it should. I had a great compassion and empathy for a client I saw a few years ago. She was suffering from frequent UTIs in the past few years and she was taking antibiotics almost non-stop since then. She said to me with sadness and frustration in her eyes, I cannot swim or move freely with the catheter in my body. The UTIs affect my daily life and antibiotics don't work at all. What is the point of living? I just want to die. She was only 65 years old. I told her the story that how I helped my mother overcome this challenge after she had a distract me a few years ago. And she has been free of UTIs since then. My suggestions ignited hope in her eyes. Now let's first talk about the causes and risk factors of UTIs. People of all ages can develop UTIs, but teens and adult women are the most vulnerable for these reasons. Women have a shorter urethra than men. It means that the bacteria 
have a easier way to travel and in fact a women's bladder. In women, the opening to the urethra is closer to the rectum. Bacteria that cause bad bladder infection may live in the rectum. Let's back to the question from the very beginning. Why do women experience more frequent UTIs when they enter menopause or postmenopause? I think the main cause is uh, hormone issues, especially for those, those women with estrogen dominance syndrome. Estrogen dominance is a condition where a woman can have a deficient, normal or excessive estrogen but has little or no progesterone to balance its effect in the body. There are some hormone receptors in the bladder and they are turned off due to hormone imbalance. Especially with estrogen dominant syndrome, when these hormones receptor, receptors are turned off in the bladder, they affect pH, pH balance in the bladder. So the pH level rises, which promotes the growth of bad bacteria in the bladder and cause UTIs, such as E. coli bacteria. Today, our environment is loaded with environmental estrogens such as petroleum-based solvents and plastics. These foreign chemicals compete with the natural hormone receptors in our body. As a result, progesterone is squeezed out of the body. Now you understand why estrogen dominance syndrome is becoming more and more prevalent among women. Can antibiotics resolve this issue? The answer is no. How to resolve estrogen dominance syndrome and balance your hormones? From a dietary perspective, it is important to follow a clean and healthy diet and limit gluten, dairy, and sugar. Today, our wheat products are hybridized. Therefore, gluten is considered a foreign compound to the gut and damage intestine linings. Did you know that 70% of immune cells are located in your gut? Your gut health is critical for your immune function. Dairy products are also inflammatory to the gut. Think about what are in the dairy product. Growth hormones and antibiotics. Did you know that cow's milk is allowed to have feces in it? Most cow's milk has measurable quantities of herbicides, pesticides, dioxins, and a variety of powerful antibiotics in it. Refined sugar contributes to chronic inflammation because it triggers inflammatory responses in the body. To limit foreign estrogens from our environment, you can incorporate phytoestrogen rich food in your diet. These phytoestrogens have much smaller structure, structures than environmental estrogens. They can occupy the hormone receptors in our body to kick these foreign estrogens out of our body. Foods rich in phytoestrogens provide a wide range of health benefits, including the following relieve menopause and, po and postmenopause symptoms, 
such as cold flashes and night sweats, prevent osteoporosis, help balance hormones and reduce estrogen dominance syndrome, prevent cancers such as breast cancer, ovarian cancer, prostate cancer, and bowel cancer, lower risk of cardiovascular disease, obesity, obesity metabolic syndrome, and type 2 diabetes. On the other hand, these environmental estrogens are toxins to our body and increase the workload for the liver and other organs to break down and get rid of them. Mother Nature always has a wisdom to protect us from invaders. What do you think? Here are a few examples of four fatal estrogens. Flax seeds, sesame seeds, peanuts, almonds, cruciferous, cru cruciferous vegetables, apples, dried fruit, etc. It is a good idea to limit the environmental estrogens such as xenohormones as much as you can, including plastics, petroleum-based cosmetics, commercial deodorant, perfumes, and commercial detergent. You can also consider using a wild yam cream to balance estrogen dominance syndrome. Wild yam contains thalcyngeny, which is a compound that has properties similar to the human hormone progesterone. Wild yam cream has been used to treat a wide range of menopause-related issues. It also helps balance your hormones. Your skin is the largest organ and you should take advantage of it. Another one for remedy is uh, castor oil. It can penetrate deep into your skin and heal your internal organs. Castor oil contains therapeutic com components, including fatty acids, flavonoids, phenolic compound, amino acids, phytosteroids, etc. These compounds provide a variety of healing benefits, including anti-inflammatory, anti-diabetic, antibacterial, antioxidant properties. Castor oil packs help heal the damaged liver, promote healthy gut function, regulate bowel functions, balance hormones, relieve PMS and uh, menopause symptoms, regulate menstruation and uh, reduce menstruation-related cramps, shrink cysts and uh, fibroids in breast and uh, ovaries, boost your immune system, improve your sleep quality, and reduce anxiety and depression. What is even better is that the anti-inflammatory actions of castor oil acts as a pain relief and prevents the recurrence of bladder infection as well. Regardless of the culprit, UTI is a treatable condition. Here are some natural remedies to treat the UTIs or prevent their recurrence. There are many herbal remedies and food that can help treat UTIs, such as dandelion, emanos, marshmallow root, cranberry extract, and corn syrup. Dandelion is a powerful diuretic, and it can help remove bad bacteria from the bladder by flushing the bacteria out along with urine. Demanos can attach to the E. coli bacteria, 
so the bacteria can no longer attach to the cells and cause infection. Demandos also helps reduce the risk of recurrent UTIs. Marshmallow has a softening effect on the irritated mucus membranes of the urinary tract. Corn soup also has a diuretic effect and is rich in silica and other minerals, which help strengthen the tissues. Cranberry helps prevent potentially harmful bacteria from sticking to the urinary tract walls and effectively flushes out the bacteria from the urinary tract to promote urinary tract health. Food with diuretic effects can also help flush out harmful bacteria quicker and get your bladder back on track fast, such as cucumber, beets, celery, parsley, cabbage, pineapple, and watermelon. Hydration is the number one key to detoxify the body. According to TCM, weak energy flow in the bladder and the kidney meridian can also contribute to frequent UTIs. The bladder meridian helps detoxify the body and the kidney meridian is a powerhouse of your life force. When people have energy deficiency in these meridians, they can experience polyuria at night and also UTIs. How to improve energy flow in this meridian? Moxibashi is an ancient technique in TCM to boost energy flow in the body. This ancient technique combines heat through the application of moxa, which is made from the amazing herb, magwa. The foundation for this ancient technique is that the body needs to receive heat directly in specific areas such as acupoints in the body to facilitate the healing process. Mugwort is also called wormwood. It is an ancient herb used in TCM for thousands of years especially in moxibustion. Mugwort helps balance yin and yang energy in the body, reduce pain, aid digestion, balance hormones, and relieve menopause symptoms and menstruation cramps for women. It is also a psychedelic herb. You can smoke it and it clears negative energy and the pathogens in your body and your environment. The direction of the smoke from moxibustion tells you where the energetic blockage is located in your body. Mugwort also induces lucid dreams and lends you a vivid dream at night. You may not aware that the mugwort is also a potent herb to remove parasites and the viruses in your body. Infrared light therapy is another great tool to reduce abdominal pain caused by UTIs. It also helps reduce inflammation in your bladder and prevent recurrence of UTIs. Simple lifestyle changes can help prevent the condition in the first place. Here are a few examples. Drink plenty of water throughout the day. Urinate as soon as you need. Take showers instead of bath to reduce potential risk of infections from an unclean tub. Choose cotton underwear. 
use pads instead of tampons during menstruation. Limit commercial hygiene spray. This home treatment and prevention have been proving effective, but you should seek health care pro professionals immediately in severe cases of UTI. You may need more than just the home treatment to manage the pain and the infection. Mild cases of UTI typically subside within two or three days when treated properly. I hope you enjoy the information. If you would like to book a healing session with me, please check the links in the description box below for a variety of readings and services that I offer. I offer palm reading, face reading, and tongue reading based on the ancient wisdom of uh, traditional Chinese medicine. I also offer healing sessions with a variety of healing modalities. Please subscribe to my channel to receive more information on holistic health and traditional Chinese medicine. I also send out weekly health tips on holistic health and self-care. You could subscribe to my newsletter in the description box below. Thank you for watching.